What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Just wanted to introduce to you guys a new bike in the fleet. Of course you guys know I got the Grom. You guys might not know, but I have a Razor SX500. And I've got a Buramax 1600R. But then I also have a 2004 KTM 65SX. So this is brand new to the channel. Just picked this up about a week ago. And yeah, I just wanted to show it to you guys. My plans with this bike, the, the journey for finding one was ridiculous. Um, these 02 to 2008 uh, frames are just getting harder and harder to find. And fortunately I was able to find one in my area for a really good price and it's running. This motor, everything runs. Sorry, it's so dark in the garage, but it runs beautifully. Only thing right now is that it just doesn't have a kickstarter lever, so it needs to be bump started. That's about all that really is wrong with it. I wanted to convert this bike to electric, but not just any electric. I wanted to convert this to the EMX 14 by Electro & Co. The EMX 14 is ultimately what this bike will become. And on the channel, as you guys watch, you guys are gonna see me kind of transform this bike slowly into the EMX 14. I've got a Bomb Moto B1 coming in soon, so that's really where I'm gonna try and build out that bike a little bit. But over time, you guys are gonna see me slowly convert it from you know, the, the, the white fairings to the actually having the EMX graphics and the motor, the controller, the handlebars, I'm gonna make this a proper Electro and Company EMX 14, that is the goal. So, not a bad platform to build on, and super excited about it. Only thing I've put on the bike so far was I put this little vent valve on the gas cap, and that's about it. I didn't wanna to spend too much money on this bike as a, as a two-stroke, but I've never had a two-stroke. So I'm kind of excited to keep this bike as a two-stroke. Again, I'm sorry I'm in the garage. It's it's late. If I don't film earlier in the day, it's like I never filmed. So I figured I'd just record it for you guys anyway, no matter what. And yeah, super excited about this thing. So not really much of an unboxing. I opened it up already. But I, of course, one of the first things I did was I got brand new OEM quality fairings from a company called UFO Plast. And they're based out of Italy. I believe even the factory OEM fairings for, for, for KTM are made out in Italy. And these guys sent this box out to me in record breaking time. I mean, I think I ordered this thing about four days ago and it already came via FedEx from Italy through a hurricane. So really, really impressed by the speed at which they ship. And again, it's everything that's gonna turn this, it's gonna help me turn this bike into a proper EMX 14. So this is the rear fairing, and you guys can kind of see it comes with the hardware for the seat. And on the website, it looks like UFO puts like a decal, like it's like painted on the plastic, but it's not, it's clean, purely clean. All right, so I'm not gonna take this out the bag yet because I really wanna get the graphics to put on here and I wanna have it clean when I do that. I don't wanna have to wipe it or anything like that, but you guys can take my word for it. But inside that writing in there, It'll say KTM 65, just like the factory fairings. And if you see above, it'll say made in Italy. So these fairings feel like the real deal. So you can see on my fairings, when I bought the bike, of course, it's been loved on a little bit too much, so this is cracked. But if you look underneath, you see the same thing on UFO Plus fairings. It'll say KTM 
and it also say made in Italy. So these are pretty much almost point for point exact a factory replacement for these fairings. So it's gonna look proper EMX 14. The kit comes with everything. So it comes with some little stickers. Of course I got the front fender. I've got the shrouds around the gas tank. I've got the front number plate. Again, all these came clean, no branding on it or anything like that. Front fork guards. So it's one step closer, guys. One step closer to becoming an EMX 14, that's for sure. All right, so in closing, guys, got a lot of exciting things coming along the way. You guys are gonna see me really work on this bike, really try and build something special here on the channel. And I mean, I've been in, in search of just finding a, a, a perfect um, electric, you know, pit bike, uh, electric dirt bike, electric bike period. And, uh, and I've always wanted an EMX 14, but I never thought it would be possible. And I'm at a place in my life where I, it's actually becoming more of a possibility. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking the channel and just really encouraging me. I know this is probably a different direction if you guys have been watching me a lot for the Grom content, but this is kind of what I want to really focus on and really start trying to do more of. So more builds, little things that I do around the bike and yeah. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video. All right, take care.